Welcome back to Movie Recaps. In the suburbs of Los Angeles, 18-year-old Madeline Whittier lives in a special house that has been modified to fit her special needs. Maddie suffers from SID, or Severe Combined Immunodeficiency, an immune disorder that makes her body extremely weak, lacking the means to fight viruses and bacteria. It's like she's allergic to everything, even the simplest of viruses can kill her, and what she eats and what she touches can have severe consequences. Common SID has a cure, but hers is the rare kind. This is why she isn't allowed to leave the house. Her mother Pauline Whittier is a doctor, so she watches Maddie's vitals and keeps records of them. It was Pauline the one who figured out pretty quickly that Maddie had said after she got eight ear infections, two cases of pneumonia, and failing to gain any weight as a baby, this was lucky of her, because most said patients don't make it past two years old. Pauline's also made sure the house protects her from everything, the radiators sterilize her clothes, she owns 100 white t-shirts, and the airlock is a sealed room surrounding the front door, it's airtight so nothing can't leak with the door open. There's also a special room with a giant window that shows the garden, which has been made so Maddie can at least have the illusion of being outside. Thankfully, she has the internet to keep herself busy. She's joined an online support group, and even taken an architecture class online, so making building models is a hobby of hers. Whenever she builds something new, she puts a little astronaut inside because that's how she feels, like an astronaut stranded in space. She also exercises and reads a lot, and then she posts reviews of the books. Since her father and brother died when she was a baby, when Pauline is out working, a nurse called Carla takes care of Maddie. She and her daughter Rosa are the only people Maddie is allowed to hang out with, and because Carla has been working with them for 15 years, Maddie sometimes feels like she's trapped there with her. One morning, Maddie hears some noises outside and when she looks through the window, she notices a new family has moved in next door. The teenage son, Oliver Bright, sees her and says hi to her, which is the first social interaction Maddie has had with a stranger in ages. Today is also her birthday, so Pauline takes the day off to spend it with her. They eat cake, play phonetic scrabble, and watch a Nicolas Cage movie that they need to pause when someone rings the doorbell. It's Ollie and his sister Kyra Bright, who have brought a bun cake their mom made. It's a tradition of hers to send one to the neighbors whenever they move, and while Pauline can't accept it, she does welcome them to the neighborhood. Ollie asks about his daughter, but to protect her, Pauline tells him she isn't around. Maddie has heard all this on the intercom, so as soon as they leave, she goes to the window to watch the siblings go back home and accidentally drop the cake to the ground, breaking the plate. A moment later, Ollie appears by his own window and waves his hand, a gesture Maddie returns. The next day, Maddie hears noises outside again, and discovers Ollie is doing it on purpose to get her attention. He starts putting up a little play for her at his window, while wearing all black, he pushes the bunt cake off the windowsill as if murdering it, then it appears resting next to a couple of pill bottles, and the final act is the cake connected to a fake four with Ollie pretending to be a priest that is giving it the parting blessings. Maddie finds it all hilarious, so when Ollie writes his phone number on the window, she doesn't hesitate to text him. Since then, the two teenagers begin texting each other every day, chit-chatting about anything and everything. They learn a lot about each other, like the fact Ollie is from New York, he wishes to move back, and his favorite person is his sister. Maddie however, doesn't tell him she's sick until she can't dodge the subject any longer, but Ollie promises her he doesn't feel sorry for her. Since they can't meet in person, Ollie asks her to come to the window and describe her eye color, after which he calls her beautiful. Days later, Carla finds out about Maddie's growing friendship with Ollie. She had already suspected when she noticed her looking so many times through the window, and confirms it when Maddie badly lies about what she's looking at on her laptop. She asks Carla if Ollie could visit sometime, promising to make him follow all protocols, but she refuses. That night, Rosa visits her and Maddie tells her a bit about Ollie. Rosa comments how things are finally getting interesting for Maddie and she won't get to see it because she'll be leaving for college in the fall. One evening, Ollie shows up in front of the giant garden window and connects his phone to Maddie's wireless speaker to make it play Heartbeats by Jose Gonzalez. The two of them make their hands meet on the glass, and Maddie can't help imagining what it would be like to kiss him. The next day, she applies online for a credit card that she uses to get a new sweater that isn't freaking white. When her mother sees her wear it sometime later, Maddie tells her she got it from Rosa. A few days later, Carla has a surprise for Maddie, she's allowed Ollie to enter the house, and she'll let Maddie see him as long as she promises they'll stay on opposite sides of the room. After changing into nicer clothes, Maddie goes to meet him, feeling rather awkward at first but slowly easing into casual conversation. When Ollie asks her where she would go if she could leave, she chooses the ocean, because it's only three miles away from her house yet she never got to see it. They don't really stay too far from each other, the more they talk, the closer they come, and Ollie is so nervous that he ends up tossing his rubber bracelet against the wall. When Carla comes to tell them their time is over, she makes sure to know they haven't touched and once Ollie leaves, she teases Maddie for the yearning expression on her face. Maddie wants Ollie to visit again, and Carla decides they can try again after a week, 
when they're sure Maddie is okay from today's encounter. Maddie keeps herself busy posting reviews while Ollie is away on a vacation. She does still call him however, to invite him to come over for 4th of July so they can watch the fireworks together, it's the perfect chance because it's Carla's day off and Pauline suddenly got assigned double shift at the hospital, so Ollie accepts. When the day comes, they start the evening by chatting on opposite sides of the room, and Maddie is surprised to hear how much Ollie knows about math because he had mentioned being in summer school. Ollie explains that's only because his dad moves around a lot, and that Maddie makes him want to stay in Los Angeles. Tired of all the distance between them, she comes closer to Ollie and at first she tells him they should stay friends, but eventually she gives in and they kiss while the fireworks begin appearing in the sky. When Ollie returns to his place, he still calls Maddie to make sure she's feeling okay, and she promises she's perfect. Sometime later, Maddie discovers something very upsetting when looking through the window, Ollie and his father are arguing on the street and his dad begins beating him up. Worried, Maddie rushes out of the house to check on him and this worries Ollie in return, who begs her to return to the house for her own safety. Their meeting is interrupted by Pauline, who grabs her daughter without a word and takes her back inside, where she scolds her for being so reckless over a stranger. When Maddie makes a face, Pauline realizes he actually isn't a stranger, not believing her daughter when she says they've only talked online. When night falls and she's calmed down a little, Pauline goes to talk to Maddie, who apologizes for what happened. Pauline expresses sympathy for Ollie's situation and offers to send someone to check on him, but Maddie turns her down, saying Ollie doesn't want anyone to know and he's only protecting his mother. Seeing as his daughter really likes this guy, Pauline asks Maddie to tell her more about Ollie, so Maddie comments on all the things she likes about him and how good he makes her feel about herself. Pauline is happy for her but for the sake of her life, she reminds her that they can't see each other again, taking out the rubber bracelet she found in the other room when Maddie tries to deny it. The next day, Pauline fires Carla for having allowed Ollie inside, ignoring Maddie's request to let her stay. Right after Carla leaves, Maddie throws up and begins having a fever, so Pauline gives her some medicine and makes her stay in bed all day, leaving her without phone and internet. Some hours later, when she starts to feel a little better, she goes to the window and sees Ollie, who quickly understands they can't text. So instead, he begins writing messages on pieces of paper that he puts on his window for her to read. After making sure she's fine, he writes that he's sorry, but Maddie replies she is not. The following day, Maddie meets her new nurse, an older woman that is extremely strict and leaves notes all around the house with dumb inspirational quotes or reminders of the rules, like having limited internet access from now on which will also be monitored. Maddie tells Pauline that she misses Carla because she was her friend, but Pauline reminds her she was just a nurse and she shouldn't have gotten attached. She thinks the same applies to Ollie, one day she'll find another girl who isn't stuck in her house and will forget all about Maddie. It hurts Maddie to hear this, but the more she thinks about it, the more she can't stop imagining Ollie with another girl and realizes her mom is right, he'll be happier with someone healthy, and Maddie is just setting herself up for heartbreak. She sends Ollie a message saying they can't be together anymore because she's ruining his life. Ollie tries to call her but she won't pick up, so he sends various texts to convince her not to break up with him, but she won't give in. While Ollie says he doesn't want to lose her, Maddie thinks there's nothing to lose because she can't even leave the house. However, the next day, she wakes up to find the huge window downstairs covered with pictures of the ocean and a note from Ollie that says every ocean deserves to be seen by her. Touched by the gesture, Maddie decides it's time to take matters into her own hands. She writes a letter for her mother, telling her how much she loves her and thanking her for everything she did for her, since it was thanks to Pauline that she survived this long, but it's no longer enough. She isn't doing this for Ollie, she's doing this for herself, because if she doesn't go now she'll never know what it is like to be truly alive. After leaving the letter by her bed for Pauline to find and packing her bag, Maddie goes outside, getting shocked by the feeling of warmth the sun leaves on her face. Once the initial sensations calm down, she goes to the house next door and asks Ollie to come out through a text, kissing him as soon as he shows up. She then lies to Ollie and tells her she's been doing gene therapy, which she hadn't mentioned before not to get his hopes up. She says it seems it's working, but her mom is still worried, so she's running away to test it because she will never truly know if she stays inside. Using the credit card she applied for weeks ago, she bought two tickets to Hawaii and invites Ollie to come with her, and he of course accepts. After packing a bag of his own and calling his sister to tell her to take care of their mother and not to tell anyone of what they're doing, Ollie drives them to the airport. Maddie is a bit scared of traveling by car at first even if it isn't going too fast, but once she gets used to it, she asks Ollie to go faster. Moments later, while they're boarding the plane and flying to Hawaii, Pauline finds the letter and calls the police. She also sees Kyra on the street and tries to get some information out of her, but Kyra says she has no idea where the couple may be, protecting her brother as he requested. Once they arrive in Hawaii, they stay in the same cabin Maddie's family used to rent when she was a baby, so after leaving their things there, they go shopping for a swimsuit for Maddie. 
They spend the whole day at the beach so Maddie gets to know the ocean and learn from Ollie how to swim and play games in the water. They also get a pair of scuba masks and snorkels to go diving and watch all the beautiful fish in the area, jump off some high rocks into the ocean which is scary but also very exciting, and end the day watching the sunset together. When they go back to the cabin, Maddie mentions she misses her brother and father, which she finds weird because she doesn't remember them. Ollie tells him it isn't weird and finally tells her why he's moved around so much, his father isn't very good at keeping jobs. He doesn't understand why his mom won't leave him, Ollie told her to do so many times but his mom only said that he'd understand when he gets older and that love makes people crazy. Maddie agrees, accidentally revealing she's in love with Ollie, so he takes the chance to tell her he loves her too. When they go to bed some hours later, they make love. The following morning, Maddie realizes she isn't feeling well and she's burning up with fever. Ollie calls an ambulance and she's taken to the hospital, where she could feel her heart stopping as she dreams of Ollie being away from her and trying to reach her. When she wakes up, Ollie is gone and she's back in her house with her mom. When Pauline finally leaves her alone, Maddie grabs her computer and chats with Ollie, who is incredibly worried about her. She apologizes for putting him through all this and breaks up with him for good this time, claiming she's tired and she can't do this anymore. Ollie thinks his life is better with her in it, but Maddie says hers isn't, causing a hurt Ollie to say he lied and he does feel sorry for her before logging out. Days later, since Maddie has learned her lesson in the toughest way possible and won't be repeating it soon, Pauline accepts to leave her alone while she works instead of hiring another nurse. She goes back to her usual routine and ignores an email from Ollie until one night, she sees him leave with his mom, Kyra, and some bags. Maddie goes looking for his email then and discovers it's a goodbye letter because Ollie is moving back to New York, doing it in the middle of the night while their father is out drinking so they can finally leave him behind. Another few days pass, and Maddie is surprised to get a call from his doctor from Hawaii that informs her of her lab results, she only had a virus infection that only got a bit serious because she has a weak immune system. Maddie tries to explain she has SID, but the doctor doesn't believe it because if that was the case, the virus would have caused a much worse effect on her. Shocked by this revelation, Maddie starts looking through all of her mother's files but doesn't find anything that confirms the diagnosis, so she confronts Pauline about it when she comes back from work. Pauline swears she must have the papers that confirm she has SID somewhere, and it's at that moment that Maddie realizes her mother suffers from Munchausen syndrome by proxy, a condition in which a caregiver creates the appearance of health problems in another person. Crying her hair out, Maddie runs away, not listening to Pauline when she begs her to come back inside. For the following days, Maddie stays with Carla and Rosa. She also goes to see a doctor to get a proper diagnosis and this doctor confirms she doesn't have SID, just an underdeveloped immune system from underexposure due to living in filtered air her whole life. One afternoon, Pauline shows up at Carla's with some of Maddie's things and tells her what happened when she was a baby. Shortly after her brother and father died, she got very sick and the doctors didn't know why. Thinking it could be allergies, they gave Pauline a list of things to keep Maddie away from, which developed into an obsession when combined with her fear of losing her like she lost her husband and son. She apologizes to Maddie and hugs her before leaving. Some days later, Carla goes to see Pauline and convinces her to open the house's windows to finally allow real air inside. Maddie however, has trouble forgiving her. She understands her mother has gone through a lot but she can't stop thinking about all the things she's missed in over 15 years. She decides to fly to New York, and once there, she sends Ollie a message, asking him to meet her at the old bookshop. She's nervous because she thinks he may not show up at all, but as soon as she arrives at the bookstore she finds Ollie waiting for her. After asking him to start over and pretend this is their first meeting, the couple kiss and leave the store holding hands. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.